God, our lines cross. We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? Maybe you don't wanna know. But you don't see what you have in front of you. Or maybe I'm not enough for you. So maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts. Cause I don't wanna. Same way, then don't pretend that everything's okay. Don't string me along the way you do. Just let me get over you. Maybe you don't wanna know, but you don't see what you have in front of you. Maybe I'm not enough for you. Currently, 5.30. I've been awake since 5? Mm. Quarter to 5, I actually woke up. I still look tired. <laughs> um, good night, I feel good. Um, just add a bit more hot water to my hot water. It's still dark, look. Winter is coming and it excites me. I am definitely an autumnal type of gal. I've said this before. It's going to be a bit dark when we go in here. So, today I am going to visit my auntie and grandmother. Um, <clears throat> so that will be really nice. Really looking forward to seeing them. They are about an hour's train journey away. Um, and to make most of the day, I'm getting the train at 7am. <laughs> you probably all think I'm mad. Believe me, my family think I'm mad. George doesn't think I'm mad. They did think I was mad, but then they said, well, actually, you are awake at five, so... You know, and I was like, exactly, so... I've got half an hour to relax and then at six o'clock, oh, six o'clock I'll go and get ready and then I'm getting a taxi to the station at half past six. Um, I'm sure I will be super early but I'd rather be early than run for the train. Nobody wants to be running for the train. <laughs> So, yes, that'd be really, really good, and I thought I'd bring you along too. <sighs> Should have had a cold shower. Yeah, thought I'd bring you along too. So, good morning, happy Friday. Um, we're going to visit uh, my aunt's cousin because apparently they ha at their house they have a beautiful garden, which I'm really looking forward to. So, I'll ask their permission if I can film a bit for you. Um, and then we'll go to the field and see the ponies, horses, they're fully grown horses, they're not ponies. And then spend some time with my nana and I'm getting my bridesmaid's dress um, uh, altered uh, for my sister's wedding. So yeah, I'm doing that. And yeah, pop into town with, aunt, with my auntie and just, yeah, it'll be a really, really lovely day. And then I'm getting the train home at... 20 past 8 so it's going to be a super long day um but it's going to be really nice like yeah it's going to be a lovely day 
so I thought you all could come along with me. I'm just cooking my breakfast. It's a pan of chocolates, which I will eat on the train. I've got my antibacterial wipes to take with me. I'm fully prepared. I've got antibacterial wipes to take on the train. I've got tissues for a little like placemat thing. I might take a couple more from our cupboard. And yeah, I've got everything because when I went to my sister's hen party on the train, <clears throat> I had my breakfast on the train again. And you know what really annoys me when they're all saying like, you know places are clean like there was a tiny way on the train to tell you to wear your mask on the train still and I thought you know fair enough um but then when I cleaned the table because I clean everywhere I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a germaphobe not just because of what's been going on but anything I am a germaphobe like and I've, I've been a germaphobe probably since my third year of MS diagnosis I'm not horrendous but I clean a lot. Anyway, I cleaned, I wiped the table with one wipe thinking, oh, it'll be okay, just one wipe, that'll be fine. I'm not even joking, the table was filthy. Filthy, filthy. Do you know how many wipes I used to clean the whole table before I felt happy to lay my tissue down to eat my breakfast? Five wipes, and they were big wipes five wipes to clean my table so these you know it's just like and then when I looked on my app for my train ticket for this it's a different train line I'm using all our trains are meticulously cleaned I said oh well we'll see about that when I clean my table and if it is not clean I will be emailing them saying on your app it said your trains are meticulously clean well here is a picture of my wipe that I used on your train today that is not clean so let's see <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine so yeah, I hope you enjoy this today's vlog. It's a slightly different one because I'm not at home, and which I probably spend a lot of my time at home, but I love my home, so. But this is gonna be a bit more interesting. So I really hope you enjoy, and I'm gonna relax now, read my Bible, do some journaling until six o'clock, and then I'm gonna go get ready. So I'm gonna put something on the TV to watch, and yeah, I hope you Joy, and I hope you're all okay. Follow me out down to the bay. Forget all the worries when you're with me. Let every way. Summer of the hardness 
what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday congested with the traffic I'm also congested because I forgot to take a for tablet last night I'm always congested in the morning and I have been for years so I am fine um, I knew I knew I'd feel awful today so obviously yesterday I went on an amazing adventure it was so good I will I've got a little bit of footage of it I don't know how much but if I haven't got a lot I'll put some pictures up um, on here but yeah um, or they'll be on Instagram go and check me out on Instagram I'll leave my handle in the description box below but yeah it was so good but I was <clears throat> up at five and then I didn't go to bed till like half ten, which is late for me. And I was like, we had a very action packed day. But it was totally worth it. It was to it's totally worth feeling like death today. And I would do it all again. Because I plan for these things like. You know, um, I don't really like staying away from home. I prefer to come home, so I just plan um, that my fatigue is going to be very bad the next day. 
So today, I'm not going to be doing a lot. Um, for me, if I don't talk, that really helps my fatigue. So I won't be doing a lot of talking today. I'm going to drink loads of water to keep me as hydrated as possible, as well as my mocha, which you can see there. I'm in a journal, I'm going to run myself a really nice relaxing bath and wash my hair and basically today is going to primarily be a bed day. We have a food delivery coming later but yeah. But the annoying thing is I can't go back to sleep, I'm awake now and I cannot go back to sleep. <laughs> <clears throat> which is annoying but that's me I might do I might read my bible or I might not so I don't think I've got the energy to read a bi read my bible this morning so I literally think I'm just gonna sit in my chair do my journaling and relax today um, I'll take you al along a little bit also, I mentioned him on Instagram actually that I think I'm gonna go back at the moment to uploading every Sunday purely because <clears throat> my Wednesday videos, like my topic related videos, some of them are doing well, but some of them aren't like my little day in the life videos do a lot better and you guys seem to enjoy those so <coughs> what i might do is i might just combine like i don't know a topic in one of my daily vlogs or something um because you they do really well on my channel you know i mean i don't think it, I don't get hundreds and hundreds of views, but they do better than my um, topic Wednesday videos. So, and also I can put a lot more time into them. Um, I'm not having, I know, you know, I could put more time into them and make them nice. So, let me know your thoughts. I think that's what I'm gonna do every Sunday. Sappy sounds nice. But yeah, for now, I need to stop talking. And just be silent so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shut up <laughs>
everyone. So I've washed and dried my hair. It's all nice and dry and soft. And I had such a relaxing bath. It was so nice. I feel a little bit rejuvenated. George and I are about to go out. We need to head, we need to, head to the shops. So we're going to go do that and then come back um, and then relax. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to do a little bit of an add-on today because I don't think I filmed a great deal yesterday. But it was just me when I went to go and see my auntie and other family members and it was so nice. So, but yeah, I just want, thought I'd do a bit of an add-on um, just to show you like how I deal with the after effects of a super long day with MS fatigue. And basically, it's very restful. I drink a lot of water um, and coffee. <laughs> but yeah, I won't be drinking any more coffee now, uh, I don't think. No, it's half 12, so no. I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's, come back, and then I'm gonna have sausages, apple sauce, and vegetables for lunch. So I might film that, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new to my channel because I'd love to have you here. I'm going to be filming every Sunday now, not every Wednesday, and every Sunday is going to be a simple living, slow living, cosy little vlog. So I really hope you enjoy. I'll see you all next week.